Welcome to the taster session for the features unit. During the course of this unit, we'll examine and work on all aspects of feature writing, from the development of ideas through research and writing, analysing the different markets and pitching and selling your work. Ultimately, the aim is quite simple and, even in the current constrained market, quite achievable to see you all getting published and getting paid for your work by the time this course ends. But to begin, do you want the good news first or the bad? Well, in the time-honoured tasteless joke tradition of a doctor telling a patient he's just had his legs amputated, but the chap in the next bed wants to buy his shoes, I'll give you the bad news first. It is extremely difficult to make a living solely by selling features. It's not impossible by any means, and there are a number of freelance writers who continue to support comfortable lifestyles by doing so. But, unless they're related by blood or marriage to an editor, newspapers and magazines being nothing if not nepotistic, by and large they're having to work harder and produce more copy just to earn the same that they did five or even ten years ago. To give an example, Recently I was commissioned to write a 2,000 word front page lead article for the Daily Telegraph's weekend travel section. It's among the best paying national newspapers for freelance work, yet, checking through old invoices, I found that I received roughly the same as I had for a piece I'd done, requiring similar amounts of time and research, back in 1997. Over the past few years there has been intense pressure on commissioning rates, and the recession isn't helping. It is tough out there. But I would still argue, although my colleagues here might well disagree, that this is just about the most valuable unit on this course. The good news is that when you're up there in your lonely garrets, huddled around candles for warmth and living off baked beans, slaving over your long-term ambitions of producing screenplays and books, it is mighty handy to have a handle on a skill which, for the outlay of a few days' effort, can bring in a few hundred pounds. It certainly beats stacking supermarket shelves or flipping burgers. And its value is not only financial. Feature writing helps to foster confidence in being a practicing and published professional writer rather than a wannabe. It can provide a portfolio of credible bylined work to, pack your, to back your pitches in other fields. It also offers the opportunity to hone the professional skills required across the board from research to narrative development and editing. It doesn't matter whether you're writing a novel, a film treatment or 500 words on budgie breeding for Pets Weekly. Success depends on common characteristics in terms of preparation and understanding markets. And there can be other compensations. That travel article I mentioned involves separate expenses paid trips to Louisiana and Montana, the chance to meet and interview one of my favourite authors and in turn generated a couple of other commissions for further stories I identified along the way. Not a bad result. As prospective professional feature writers, what sort of marketplace will you be launching yourselves into? Economic downturns are always bad news for periodical publishers. Advertisers cut back, reducing both income and pagination, which in turn cuts both the budgets and editorial space. More specifically, according to the Audit Bureau of Circulations, sales of national newspapers continue to decline. On recent figures, broadsheet newspapers such as The Guardian, Telegraph and Times lost an average of 5% year on year. Broadly speaking, magazines also fell, by more than 3% overall since the same time the previous year, although we are still talking about a staggering combined circulation in the UK of around one and a quarter billion copies in over-the-counter sales. Some niche areas did really well, others floundered as fashions ebbed and flowed, gaming titles were up, while lads mags slumped. However, these seemingly gloomy figures disguise a new reality in the features marketplace. Sales of Loaded and Nuts might be drooping in the newsagents, but online their readership figures are ever more tumescent the former up by 50% on the previous year, the latter by 120%. Fewer people may be buying newspapers, but the online Guardian had more than 23 million global users, 
closely followed by the Telegraph with 22 million and the Times with 20 million. There is no doubt that much future growth is going to be online and we'll be investigating the expansion of e-zines and online skills such as search engine optimization. As Sly Bailey, Trinity Mirror's chief executive, recently commented in the Press Gazette, the likelihood is that publishers which don't fully embrace online will fail. That said, there are still a lot of trees being sacrificed in the name of information and entertainment. A glance along the shelves of your local smiths will confirm that. And they're just the best-selling titles, a mere fragment of the opportunities for writers out there. An advertising trade directory, the Brad Guide, has more than 14,000 media entries, including nearly 3,500 consumer press titles and nearly 5,000 specialist business press titles, covering everything from aerospace to veterinary. And, incidentally, if you have special interests, perhaps in health or music or new technology, develop them. In an increasingly niche-driven market, specialist knowledge is gold. Clearly then, there are plenty of outlets and opportunities for writers on all subjects. During the course of this unit, you will research and gain an understanding of all of these potential markets and how best to exploit them, for instance, by maximising sales through syndication. As for the important bit, getting your work into the pages of those publications, one thing that will be emphasised again and again is that you cannot be a professional writer without also being a professional reader. You must read, 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 and this should start now. Change your newspapers, change your magazines, browse online in outlets. Anywhere you go, the hairdressers, the dentists, take advantage of that tatty pile of magazines. And don't just look at the pictures or get engrossed in one article. Study the types of stories, the construction of articles, the lengths, the language, the special interests, the advertising, the layout. You need to look at magazines in particular in a new light. What are they? Why are they? Who reads them? How do we know? You need to develop a professional eye because that will tell you whether ideas you have will fit particular publications. We'll make a start on this in the first exercise. One of the joys of feature writing is its infinite variety. The constraint comes in making sure you are writing in a focused way for a specific publication. What suits Auto Weekly won't necessarily suit Top Gear. What fits Easy Living won't necessarily appeal to Cosmo editors. Those editors want story ideas that will attract their singular and highly defined readership. Ideas are specific angles and approaches. Understanding that is one of the most important parts of the whole feature writing process. Let's say bird flu has broken out again. If you were to ring an editor asking if they want something on bird flu, the chances are not. Bird flu is a subject, an issue. Their attention will be grabbed by something much more specific that reflects the potential impact of that issue on their readers, that brings it home, gets them where they live. So, if you were, depending on the publication, to offer a firm idea on the ramifications for Christmas turkey prices, the effects on pigeon racing, threatened travel and leisure restrictions, they'd be much more likely to be interested. During the course itself, we'll go through all of the steps in developing those ideas into fully-fledged stories, from defining the information that you'll need to deciding on the best structure. For now, I'll just run through a few principles. Regarding the generation of the ideas themselves, you can't write without them, but thankfully they're everywhere. You'll get lots of good ideas yourself from life, events, simple curiosity, but other people's are just as valuable. Much of my self-generated work has involved finding an undeveloped element in one published story and creating another for a different publication from it. We'll have a go at that in another exercise. In developing ideas, research is not optional. 
Even opinion pieces need facts which have to be checked. Every story has some kind of research requirement because you are seeking originality and finding new angles. So, be inquisitive and curious. Get used to scouring around for information, asking questions and tracking down those with expert knowledge of the subject. Whether it's uncovering government corruption or offering tips for lifting dahlias in winter, features are about gathering and interpreting information. But the interpretation invariably comes from others, not you. You're simply the conduit. Now, having had this great idea, you have to find an outlet that it fits and may commission you to write about it and, hey, pay you for it. Because whether you're going after a job or just trying to place a single piece, the ones that will get their bottoms into office chairs or win commissions will be the ones that can convince an editor that they understand that publication's specific market and its place within it. That means that your idea will appeal to or is relevant to the target audience. You should be able to argue why and think of this constantly when you're researching, selecting the information you will use and writing the content. It is topical, often because there's a news peg, such as the bird flu example mentioned earlier, but it could be an anniversary or a trend or a seasonal issue, but something that is identifiably of this moment which equally has not been overexposed recently. It's an original idea, preferably exclusive, but these are pretty rare, so usually it will be an original reworking. Your initial audience is the commissioning editor, and you need to tell them something they don't know. Your idea will stick if they're convinced you can write it, that you can demonstrate an understanding of their readers and their style, that you can find the right contacts and information, research and write the piece. And you must be able to demonstrate that you understand that it fits the editorial mix of the publication. That's about it. It's not rocket science. And incidentally, we don't want to see that kind of glib cliche in your writing. None of what you'll learn over the course of this unit is particularly complex. The salient points which theoretically could have you competing as world-class feature writers could be covered in a couple of hours or so, but what we'll be doing is gaining familiarity with those nuts and bolts, exploring different facets of presentation, pitching and selling techniques, basically building confidence, and that is the key. You can't write outside your own experience without talking to other people and gaining theirs. So you have to develop a confidence on cold calling, of persistence in talking to people, or more importantly, listening to them. You have to develop confidence in your own writing, which is often underpinned by the quality of the research you've put in. You have to develop confidence in selling story ideas to editors. Now this gives many people the jitters. Don't worry, rejection is of an idea not of yourself or your personality. Provided you've done that homework on fitting idea to publication, on another day, another idea will stick. Again, pitching features is a virtually pain-free way of practicing the same skills needed to pitch those big, important book and script projects. I'm sure that having signed up for this course, you will already be reading a wide range of newspapers and magazines and you're actually far more familiar with what content is good and what is bad than you realise. And I'm also sure that you are more capable of competing with those many writers already out there and already earning a living at this than you realise.